What's going on, boy? It's your boy, man. Room, man. Back with another video. Actually, on my way home from work. Um, kind of had some stuff on my mind that I want to discuss with y'all. Uh, anybody that's familiar with the RP. Probably familiar with Fresh and Fit podcast. You know what I mean? Those guys are popping right now as well. I say, like, those, them and Kevin Samuels are probably like the main two podcasts I'm paying attention to as far as RP because they're just pumping really, really good quality content out right now. And they're hitting on some topics that really, really need to be discussed. And when I was watching uh, Fresh and Fit last night, one of the things that stood out was the, um, I don't know, I guess it's this channel called UDY, um, where pretty much guys set up, they test their girlfriends to see whether or not they loyal. And of course, they put them in a, and you know, any good way to really test a woman, you know, give her an offer give her an offer she can't refuse and see you know what I mean and see how things gonna go so long story short this dude sets up his girlfriend right with one of his friends they go over his house and they pretend like he's this millionaire or whatnot right and dude the dude that's playing pretending to be a millionaire he sends the other guy out to go get stuff, per se, but he really wasn't doing that. He was really going to the other truck to listen in on the conversation. So, come to find out, Shorty done matched up with the other dude on Tinder and everything. And, oh, I didn't know. And In a nutshell, bro, she folded. Hypergamy is real, bro. And that's what this video is going to be about hypergamy, bro, and women being opportunists when it comes to mate selecting. Like, this is something that even I still kind of struggle with because if you flip the revolt, if you flip these roles in reverse, women We'll put our feet to the fire for this shit, y'all. Like, for real. I just... I, I, I find it so hypocritical, man. I, I really do. And But at the same time, you can't get mad at it because women are biologically designed to look for the best deal. The problem with modern dating is, is that there's far more attractive women out here than there are millionaires or even six figure guys gotta think bro 100,000 there's only 10% of the US population that makes 100,000 a year that's just people you know what I mean so I'm like well I take that back I, I believe it is men but even if it's just 10% men out of those 10% how many men are single out of those 10%, how many men are gay? Like, you gotta factor that in, too. And, if it's one thing I learned from watching Fresh and Fit, hey, people that are gay, they, 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 they tend to be pretty well off when it comes to money, because for one, they don't gotta deal with women. But, Fresh and Fit, they, they go over all that. Um, it's, it's just crazy, man. Like, this woman thought the grass was greener, and then, when homie popped in and busted her ass, oh, man. I mean, and she was so cold, too, like, because in her head, she thinking, oh, I done came up on a better deal. So I'm going to just shut you down and, uh, I can do better and I, I got a better offer right here. Da -da 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 -da. This woman wouldn't even delete her tender for her boyfriend, but she deleted the tender for the guy that she thought was a millionaire after meeting him for 20 minutes. Now, right, but 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 men ain't shit. The fuck out of here, bro. 
y'all smoking dope. The hell wrong with y'all, man? Seriously, bro. They say men ain't. They say men ain't ish, but you got women out here. Another prime example, because I wanted to talk about this too. The whole situation with Drake and that Sharon singer chick. Eight year relationship, bro. Engaged to be married. She threw that all away. Just a bust a nut with Drake. Only for Drake to turn around and be booed up with somebody else. I'm sorry, man. That's kind of funny, man. Because it just goes to show you, man. Like, these women ain't smart, bro. They ain't. They. Man. It's, it, it, it's sad, bro. It, it, it's real sad, man. I'm like, and these, and these would be the same kind of women that'll come to the guys that they overlooking and want, uh, and, and they want us to hold the guys that they're chasing and getting played by accountable. Why the hell should I hold another man accountable that you overlooked me for just off of the strength of clout status and money really you see this is one of the things I tell a lot of a, a, a lot of dudes man since I discovered the RP if she ain't I'm like bro if she ain't if, bro, if you ain't smashing her I'm like she she man, she's worthless like I mean to you anyway I mean I'm not trying to say that like Oh, women are worthless. No, I love women. I don't. I'm not a woman hater. Never. But I, I'm like. But I will hold y'all accountable. Believe that. Oh no. Oh no. I ain't letting nothing slide anymore. I don't. I don't. Man. I don't. Mm -mm. I don't waste too much time letting things slide. I just find it funny, man. It's like it just go to show you, man. Like women are opportunists, bro. And then on top, and then with when it came to the Drake situation. You had um, well, like you had women coming out the woodworks like, uh, I would have did it too. Uh, I would have did it too. I'm like, damn, do y'all realize? I'm like, the more y'all tell on y'all selves, the more y'all gonna make it harder for any any women in the future trying to find a relationship. Like, as men, we see this, and we're like, WTF? Like, I, I just got a question, ladies. Like. If this is how y'all genuinely think, how the hell can you get mad at a man for not wanting to commit to? How the, what's the incentive of being in a relationship, a monogamous relationship, only for you to leave the moment that you, the moment you think the grass is greener on the other side? You know what I mean? I'm like that, I'm like that, I'm like, that's why these guys are spending months up to a year vetting y'all because of situations like this. Eight years in the engagement and she still left, bro. She still left. Still left. Shorty and then Shorty in the UDY. Dude, her boyfriend found out she had a tender, bro. Wouldn't delete it after he found out. But once she thought she came across a deal that was better. She deleted it for the guy that she thought she was going to kick it with after talking for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Now, first of all, this is a this is one of the things that really irritates me when it comes to modern women. Because when I was watching the reaction, one of the first things that I noticed was that when she, um, the girl was like trying to charm the guy that was pretending to be a millionaire... She mentioned all these things that she that she was noticing about him and then try to throw in the fact that he's doing well off. You seem to be doing well off for yourself. She threw that in last. Sweetheart, that was the I'm like, sweetheart, that was the first and only reason why you were so quick to jump. Let's keep it real. Because if he had everything else but the money, would, would, would you would have been so quick to jump?
like Shorty showed her true colors, man. Like I, I, I was about to say I feel bad for her, but I don't. <laughs> I really don't. Like you stupid. Like damn, it's like it's almost as if like she ain't stopped the thing. Like hold on, this is too good to be true. Like you, I don't know, man. I just, hey, that was hilarious, man. I'm like, I might have to find that channel and start looking looking those up myself because I love channels like that and gold digger prank channels, man, because it shows a woman's true nature and they hate that. They hate that, man. Because the first thing they do is once you expose them, what they do, fellas, play victim, like always. No accountability. Ain't no, oh, you know what? Damn, yeah, that ain't a good look. I shouldn't have did that. My bad. Nah. What she's going to do is shame you and try to make you look like you the bad guy for setting her up. Make you look like you the bad guy for, for getting her to expose her, her, her true nature and how she really thinks. It's, it, it's sad, bro. It's sad. It's one of the reasons why leveling up is so important to me right now, man. That's all I'm worried about, man. You know what I mean? Like... Started a 401k with my job last year during the pandemic. About to open up um, a IRA Roth account because I was looking into that. You know what I mean? Then start looking into stocks. Need to, you know, start generating, you know, different streams of income so I can get to that level where I want to get. I mean, because physically, I'm in the best shape of my life. Let me tell y'all. I've been working out for about four years now. Um, like, yeah, I'm like, the fitness thing, that's like, like, that's not even a thought, to be honest with you. I go to the gym five times a week, and truthfully, man, like, even that's tough for me because it be... You know, because even on my off days, I be having that itch like, ugh, I want to go. Because I'm like, fitness is so important to me. Because not only because of me discovering the RP, but, you know, just to, get a, just to get a little personal, you know, diabetes runs on my dad's side of the family. So, you know, once I realized I was getting older and I was like you know what that and a combination of people thinking I was really sick because I was so skinny um you know they were just like I was just like you know what I'm gonna just you know what let me just go ahead and start working out man and see what the word you know see what the deal is and I, I fell in love with it and I haven't stopped ever since man so you know for me I feel like it's just the financial part for me now. Focusing on ways to receive uh, multiple streams of income. So that way I can continue to grow financially. You know, invest in myself. And just continue to grow. You know what I mean, that's, that, 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 that's pretty much what I want this channel to be about. You know, I want this channel to be about you know the everyday average person seeing another everyday average person trying his best and putting the work in to self improve but at the same time teaching and teaching what I've learned over the last few years from discovering um, the RP so you know like I like I said in my first video I ain't no better than the next man yeah you know I mean but that don't mean you can't be better And on that note, I'm going to end it here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Notification bell, all that good jazz. And I catch y'all on the next video. Deuces.